All right, we're talking to Mr. King Tolo, one of the most banned people in social media of all time. How's it going? Doing great. What about you, Con? Yeah, doing good. So this is the question, okay? What distinguishes a natural supplement from an unnatural supplement? I think one that pushes you through a super physiological state. Like, you could look at something like a Terkestrone, I would consider natural. MK677, creatine, I would still consider natural. But then once you break the boundaries with like a RAD140 or testosterone, high levels of testosterone or trend, then that's when you start breaking that boundary. If it puts you to a super physiological state, that would be considered unnatural. Yeah. Yes, but something like MK677, you're just simply uh, secreting more of your natural GH. You know, same thing with testosterone with your testosterone levels. But when you start taking like trend, you're putting something that's foreign in your body to push yourself to the next level. So what happens if I microdose trend and don't push myself to a super physiological state? Would it be considered natural? No, you won't be considered natural. And the same goes for your natty daddies who claim that caffeine is natural. Caffeine's not naturally found in your body. So Therefore, you're not a natural person while taking caffeine in itself. Okay, I like this. So you're saying essentially nothing is natural these days. Nothing is natural. You'll never be 100% natural. That's what it comes down to. Oh, good. So you think of it more of a, as of a spectrum of percentages. Oh, yes. I like that. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, Tired of supplements that don't work? Then head to enhancedlabs.com and 10% off when you use the code below. Link in the bio.